Hey guys, I'm Kyle Brown, and this is me playing MXGP2 on both of the practice tracks. Uh, as you can see, I didn't get my number. My number's meant to be 991, but the game wouldn't let me have 991. I guess someone in the career mode must have that number. And then I tried having 99, and I know that Max Anstey has 99, so I also couldn't have that number. So I just stuck with 992. And uh, on this track right now, I'm using the KX250F. No upgrades, the only upgrades I have on it is I put some XL rims on it and uh, made the hubs gr green, yeah green, and same with the clamps. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it can't really make it over the triples, I'm sure if I went on the 450 it would, or maybe put a new pipe on this and it would clear the triple, but whipping, or scrubbing, as they've called it in this game, well it is a scrub really, it's a lot more... you. Like on the first MXGP, on the original, you used to just scrub every jump and you'd be fine. But on this, you wanna sometimes you want to lean back to like make the triples. Just lean back so you can jump further. Uh, sometimes if you scrub, it does really bring you down when you scrub. So you don't really make the jumps. But the ruts and the berms, and they, you can bounce off all of them. They'll, they'll work really well. Uh, but I haven't really seen it create any ruts. I've seen, you get lines, but there's no, not really ruts in this game. But just to say, like with this, as you can see there, the, the back, there, there you go, it hangs out a lot more. I don't know, kind of bounce up the track there, but it does. It, you know, the scrubs are a bit more controllable than they were last year. Still kind of the same, but it's, you poke, you poke, you put the triggers or the, the sticks, I say, the sticks either way. So if you put them both out, I think you whip. Or scrub to the right I'm not positive 100% on that um, and then if you put them both in you scrub to the left I'm not 100% on that but that's just how it works you get the idea so yeah we'll go over to short track now so this is the short track and the starts if you let go of the clutch early you do hit the gate like on MXS ATV so that's a lot better as you can see there I go I hit the game the, the game the gate and uh, yeah, the whoops, the whoops are loads better. The close whoops, like the super cross whoops, they are so much better. They actually work, let's just say, they work. And yes, you have to actually accelerate. So if you're coming up the top of a jump and you accelerate like that, you will over jump it. So you have to time your acceleration. So like you have to stop accelerating at the top of the jump if you don't just want to fly off the end of it or you can you can seat bounce, like I was saying, you can lean back to seat bounce. You don't have to scrub every jump. And uh, yeah, also, I just want to say that I got this game early. I got this game a day early. So I did record this yesterday. I just haven't had time to upload it. Uh, so yeah, that's just. Oh uh, yeah, I just thought I'd tell you that. And uh, also, this game. Uh, the pl that I'm playing now, so the practice, the practice track. This is like the third time I've done this. So e even the big one, it was like the third time. I went round it twice, and then I pressed the time button just to send the lap. So that's why I'm kind of failing. I like, I quite like these little tables. They're quite cool. But anyway, we're coming to the end of the video now. So just say yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope that you can understand how to control this game. And the career is very hard unless you change the difficulty. So yeah, see ya, bye.